What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. And I thought I would do a slightly different video today where, because I know the issue with like insomnia and stuff like that, as well as like not being able to completely relax and let go when you kind of need to. Um, so I thought about doing a series where I kind of, or at least maybe put this in the background, you know, I progress in Stardew Valley because I'm a little bit of a beginner still. Um, like a few months later, um, as you can see, I've only got 17 gold, but I thought it could be good because again, if you are having a long day, a tough day, maybe you're struggling to sleep and primarily, I guess it would be targeted to people who are actually trying to sleep because some nights you might be thinking too much, or maybe again, you've been kind of overstimulated from looking at your phone too long in bed or whatever it may be. Just, you know, you can just slap this on and then, um, just chill out, you know, hopefully it helps some people to sleep. Um, and yeah, pretty much so. Today, today's agenda is going to be trying to reach level 40 in the mines. Um, but I think before we do that, we should try and focus on building a coop. The only reason I said I wanted to get it to level 40 is because I was on level 25 in the mines. And so reaching level 40 might be a better bet. The only thing is, is... My farm kind of sucks, um, as you can see here. I do have a few crops and things like that. Um, I'm guessing I have to sell them, but I don't think I get a lot of money for them. Um, so if you guys know how to um, get more money on the game, I'd be more than happy to uh, try. Now again, you guys give me tips all the time. I do get a little bit lost when um, I read them because I'm like, oh damn, I got to sell this thing to this person, that thing to that person pretty new you know i don't know all the names of the villages um but i should so saying that i think we can um we get a few things planted i think i can actually take this out can't i eggplant okay so the eggplant grows again which is really really good um and that's something that i could do with i guess um to be fair i did actually manage to expand my farm when i was mining because i managed to pick up some seeds from the dungeon or the mine if you will actually you know what i think it's a good idea to um to go mining today so that's what we'll do just because if i can take some food with me i can actually reach that level 45 or 40 and then i can see what progressions we can get after that so i think we'll probably take i don't know if i should take some of these sunflowers and stuff like that because they're probably worth a bit right so i think let's try and find some um pull up berries i think should do or maybe we can get to level 25 today and then keep repeating the process to um, basically move forward. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's start with five levels a day. So let's embark on our on our quest. Um, one thing I really wish this game did have was um, the ability to sprint. That'd be pretty cool um, because this is just too long. And I presume you probably get running shoes or like a bike, just like in Pokemon. Um, so that's good. We're collecting some blueberries on the way, not bad. I think they're like 25 energy each, so that's not too too bad at all, is it? But let's see what we find today. I'm not gonna lie, I got really excited a couple episodes ago when um I thought that there would be, you know, some things in the crates that some of these um blue crates drop. And I got that Gunther guy to open it, and there was absolutely like awful loot in there. I was so confused. Just like that, a bit of bug. Whoa, there's two stairs. Wait a minute. Which one do we take? Hmm. I go up. Oh, so that means you can actually take two ways to go down dungeons now. That's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, another guy said fiber is really good. I'm guessing to help grow your plants, right? To give it like nutrition and all of that good stuff. So, damn, we're really finding the next level of caves, aren't we? We might be able to get to 35 today then because it's already 10.50. And if we can move smoothly to 28, that should be pretty good. So let's see. I really wish big boulders like these really dropped like more loot. Um, I guess it's just a bunch of stone, which I have no use for now. But I know when I start to build craft buildings and stuff, it's going to be really good. Um, don't know what I can build. And that's the thing. Um, like a lot of people when they start games and things like that, they watch like YouTubers play first. And stuff like that um i'm like the opposite i probably should 
have watched guides and things like that on the game, but you know, sometimes I like to be a little bit creative with um, sort of playing, figuring it out myself, and all of that good stuff. And um, yeah, I think this is fun to do it, but again, you stall so much progress, um, which is probably kind of funny to you guys, right? Because yeah, sometimes I just be like, well, what am I even doing? Am I even doing the right thing on the game? So, but it's not too hard because it's a farm at the end of the day, and the um. It's, I guess, like a re repetitive process of that, um, which makes the game pretty um, pretty fun as well, just because it's chill, but you get to do that, the same chill task every day. It's not like, for example, like a ranked game on, like a multiplayer game where you have to grind and focus and things like that. It's pretty pretty mindful game, but at the same time, it's kind of mindless because you can just let yourself go mine or plant and stuff like that. We're really, really finding these ladders. So we reached level 30, that's really good. I think we can actually push to, um, whoa, different scenery. That's pretty cool. Right, let's get rid of our, what is, did I just hear a rat? I can hear something running towards me. Oh, bat, it's a bat. Okay, that's pretty interesting. What did they drop? Damn, what should I drop? Maybe I should drop kelp shirt. Should I get a kelp shirt on? I don't know. We keep a kelp shirt or a faded denim thing? The faded denim looks kind of clean. This looks a bit bare, to be honest. But I don't know. I think I want to keep both. Just to, you know, change the drip occasionally. Um, a bat wing. Okay. But what do I swap for the thing? I do want to keep the bug loot. I could take away the mixed seeds or the copper. Actually, fiber. Fiber can go. Alright, let's see what else this place has got to offer. Um... Because to be honest, I'm actually stacking a lot of materials, which I think is going to come in really handy when I kind of do it all together, right? We've got some more cave carrots to eat. Yeah, we we, we got to go to 35 on this one, right? 310 on the game, which means we're at 32 now, left or right? Let's go for right. I feel like everyone always goes left in games like this, but the game can't trick me today. And left takes you to nowhere. Wait a minute, is that... Boots? Oh, plus one immunity. Oh, I don't know if that's good. I think I already have something that's like that already. But rubber boots could come in handy. Let's get rid of our stone. Why not? Cherry bomb? You know what? Oh, it actually does explode. Holy cow, it does a lot of damage. Oh, cherry stones are pretty handy then. In for looting at least. I should probably get this right. This um gold stuff, top eyes or whatever you call it. Let me eat all of my blackberries. And I make a bug steak. Ah, and more blackberry. Now we've got our top has. And um, let's keep venturing forth to level 35. Um, oh, is that a zombie? That is a zombie, right? Holy. Okay, this guy's bobbing and weaving everything. They, they pack a great deal of damage. I don't like that. So I think we have to start figuring out a way to go to the, um, what's his name? You know, the dude, the blacksmith dude. That's it. Gunther? I think it's Gunther. Go get some iron, maybe some better tools. I'm really grateful for um, finding this wooden club. Like, look at the stats. 9 to 16 damage. And it's a slime slayer, which means it takes it down in like one hit. Which is amazing. Honestly amazing. Alright, so let's keep venturing forward. What is this? The problem is everywhere is dark as well. And I do have a glowing ring, but it doesn't do that much. Um... It's currently 550, which means two more levels. Just two more levels, right? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also, just a reminder, if you've been having a long and hard day, or maybe a day's just starting, I hope it goes well. And if it didn't, um, that's all right. It's just another day that's gone, and another day that you have defeated. And if you've got something that's quite stressful and upcoming, then um, I wish you good luck with it. Um, I don't know if we should keep bat wings or not. I think we should get rid of the kelp shirt. I don't think it's really, you know, drippy. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and sometimes we just need that reminder where we have to realise that it's okay to go through those days where it's going to be a bit rough. But as long as you make it through, that's all that matters. And you get to learn something from it. Not only do you get to learn something from it, but you also kind of figure some more things out about life and you get to experience more 
even though it might suck, right? But nonetheless, it's still something you can take from it. And every hardship that you experience, you can always get something from it. Um, and I think more of the world should kind of realize that because a lot of people let their sort of hardships define them too much. And I don't think that's necessarily a great thing just because you're more than your problems, right? Same way, like you're more than if you are working a job, you're more than your job, more than, you know, just activities that you do. You know, you're a very unique specimen of a uh, person. And so you should kind of treat yourself accordingly, if you will. And just like that, we made it to eight level 35. So let's go back, drop off our loot and come back for another day of mining. Should be pretty pleasant. I think my favorite season so far on this game, even though I've only experienced like two of them, is definitely autumn because autumn is um i don't know the colors are just like popping right now i don't know i, I don't even know what color to kind of call this orange or like orangey purple but it sinks so well it's crazy we need to head off to bed real quick sprint right now would be amazing and there probably is a way to do it but you know i'm not the the greatest with this stuff um okay let's drop off some loot first before we head off to bed um bug me actually we can just take bug steaks with us hmm actually probably cave carrots are probably gonna be our best bet i think um yeah apart from that okay we have woody secret i think you, have, you can put that here right um where is it special items and powers no how do we attach these items i need to figure that one out okay a two of mining let's begin all right so let's um should we water our plants today i kind of want to skip it but i know you guys are probably gonna butcher me for doing that um pickaxe first and then that okay we can plant a seed as well today why not why not so some plants they grow better in different seasons which i think is a pretty cool thing to have in the game <laughs> um oh we've got some corn okay i don't know if the scarecrow even does anything but I feel like my plants must be growing quicker. All right, let's try and get to level 40 in the cave. And um, I still need to figure out, right, how to get to the um, the wizard. Because I have met him in one of the parties. I haven't met him uh, in the actual thing. Ah, oh, can I can't bother to get that strawberry. Should probably get it though. Probably try and get it on the way out. But it seems to be blackberry season right now. Which is cool. Do with some more, um, more stuff. Okay, let's commence battle with this mine, shall we? We're already starting off with level 35. I wonder what the limits are for mining. I'm guessing it's like 100, right? Which would make sense. And there's a zombie after me now. Okay, not bad. On to the next one now. And nothing so far. It just feels like it's getting darker and darker. Which, um, hmm. Very, very peculiar. Very small dungeon too. I seem to find any there we go numero 36 oh okay that's one that's two still two three four five six seven nice 37 now also if you made it this far and you're still awake for whatever reason let me know what else you guys would like to see on the channel um stardew related or maybe mental health related um it's always an open space you know if you want to leave a comment as well where you can again either help others or maybe vocalize more about what kind of awareness needs to be put in terms of your mental issues or you know just life itself right not everything has to be about mental issues um but yeah it seems like we need to figure out a way to get this minecart to work as well you know what's crazy about these zombies is that they're like transparent half the time okay, where's that bat there we go Batwing. I'm guessing we need that for some soups or like some maybe some magical potions in the game or whatnot. We're at 39 now. Oh, we're at 40. What do we get? Let's bin our stone. But what do we get from being level 40? We seem to be in some Arctic plot. There's the, the, the thing now. We've got a slingshot. Hmm. Can I use it? Oh, that's pretty cool. I love the the two pit animation of this. Very very retro. Okay, require stones for ammo. Oh, I just got rid of my stones. Timing on that is crazy. What the heck is that? It's like some... Oh, okay, this is like some big boy dungeon. I'm seeing all kinds of different stones. 
Okay, not a bad start to the mining shift. Let's try and get to um, Gantha, maybe. I'm not sure if we can go this way. Reach the bottom of the mine. Oh, goodness. They didn't even give me rewards for, like, how do we become a proven adventurer? So many questions. Not enough answers. Okay. How can we fix this bridge as well? We need to figure out that. Again, so many questions. Okay. Let's see. Where can we go next now? Um... Yeah, let's see Gantha real quick, if I can make it in time. It's like 10 minutes pass every single time. And give some berries to the uh, to the folks of the town, if we can see them. Who asked supposed to get that berry? Ah, I cannot be bothered. It's too much effort. I don't think this guy would like it, would he? Yeah, not really. I'm guessing all the, um, all the ladies of the town. I got you, she'll definitely like it, right? Oh, never mind. Sure. Who else can I give it to now? Pretty eat some. Energy's pretty low be a faster way to get to Gunther, right? Just the bridge? Okay. Just the bridge. Gunther. Ah, Mr. Pierre, or whatever his name is. Lewis. I need wild plum. I don't have any plum, mate. Okay. Who else can be spot on the way? Another blueberry tree. Oh, that Pam lady should like it, right? Where is she? What is this? It looks like she's got some booze on her or something. Okay. Next, 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 next. Who shall be next? Even like these tasks over here, Robin's resource rush, a thousand stone and 50 bats, that's a train. Where the heck do I go to get the train? Up there, right? Oh, oh, we should go there. Okay, let's go there. As soon as I stop from coming up there, right? A train decides to come. What are the chances? I've got to slowly make my way up there just to probably miss the event. Move Gantha. Oh, Lewis, sorry. Gunther. Um, I think I'll go left and then up, or is it right and then up? I think it's right and then up. Despite it being the same long map, or too long, um, navigating it. I'm pretty sure I can go to the left side of the house, right? Yeah, okay. See what this railroad is all about. Is I'm sure the train would come here. Actually, let's get the old man some berries. And it's sounding really loud. What can I do with this? Are they going to let me go in, or nothing? Okay, I think it's just a, just a train. I wonder if you can, um, if the game would even, like, make you get run over by chance if it's, um... Hmm. Okay, Guns is closed. I think we'll do one more day of figuring out how to get money. And then we can, um, proceed to, um... Actually, did I give it to this lady? I think I did, right? Yeah. Some more blueberries in the meantime. Pelican Town, what exactly does one do here? Because I feel like there should be something to do here, but there is nothing here but a script. Um, yeah, I think it's coming to the point of the game where I'm going to need to watch a guide or something, because, yeah, figuring out all by myself is a little bit tricky. But I probably have to do more to the farm before I can even venture on here. Um... Yeah, it's crazy. I feel like the, the Stardew Valley law is like pretty mad. Pretty, pretty crazy. What the hell? I just got a random mystery box. Um, but what do we get rid of? I guess two pieces of coal isn't going to be much now, is it? We should probably plant more trees and stuff as well, right? I know one person said that we should um, put them separated. Um, so yeah, not a bad idea at all. Alright, now all of our loot in here. Should probably take that to Gunther tomorrow. Any common? I'm guessing we can try and sell that. And um, bug meat? Can we craft some steaks now? How does one craft a bug meat? Ah, damn, we kind of stack to bug, to bug steak now, isn't it? Alright. And then, what else can we take to the dude tomorrow? We've got six bug steaks. You know what? Since we've got a lot of wood and stuff, what can we truly build with this stuff that I have now? Okay, so we can get some fences, some gates. Some signs, a staircase, which, oh, I presume it's a way to kind of cheat your way down them. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any of that stuff right now, to be honest. Um, take some geodes. Oh, we can't break anything, can we? Because we don't have the money. Okay, let's figure out how to get to make some money quickly whilst we uh, sleep on these ideas. Okay, so we've got new crafting recipe which is iron, um, if you didn't know, F-E, 
in the periodic table is iron. So I'm guessing we can now get that ore in the dungeons and a glowstone ring, which I think I already have. So day number three. Um, I think we should probably start off with, I just don't know what we can really sell. Maybe we should melt all of our, uh, all of our copper. It's taking way too long, isn't it? Let's um, do something else in the meantime. Okay, so we have hardwood, moss, fiber, and earth crystal. Not sure what that would do. We have a monster book. How does one, should, should I just like keep him in inventory? Like what's going on? Anyway, um, I think so we have a rice shoot. I think it's a spring plant, isn't it? And I can't focus more on gardening today, I think. Maple seeds, okay. And what else can we plant? Leeks, I don't think we can plant leeks. Pine trees. Should we just like plant a bunch of um, seeds done? We have trees here. I just don't know what else we would um, do. Unless I clear our space here today, but I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try and figure out how to make some more money. What can we really sell and how much can we sell it for? But number one, what we should do is... Yeah, we're not in the season to plant some of these seeds. Okay. Hay? Can we get some haze? I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can sell some corn. And then how much do we exactly get for that? Surely we can sell, sell a sword as well, right? Okay, let's just go to the town and see what's up. The bus to Calico Desert. Hmm. I'm guessing we've got to fix that somehow as well. The thing is, yeah, so on my tasks, it just says build a coop. But the thing is, look how much... It costs like 4,000. So what other objectives can I really do? Oh, I know what to do. Why did I not think about this? What task do you have to do? 960 for a ripe pumpkin. Um, where the hell do we get a pumpkin from? Hmm, see if I can buy a pumpkin. Oh, um, don't mind if I do. Just, uh, take one of these. You know what? I'm actually gonna Google. How do I get a pumpkin? How to get a pumpkin? Stardew Valley. Pierre's General Store. And occasionally the traveling car. Thing is, how am I gonna even get enough money for a pumpkin, though? Because if I've got 17 right now... How on earth could I possibly sell right now? Um, thousand pieces of stone. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll just accept that. Let's see how much it is. I think Jojo Mart's going to be much more expensive, right? Um, CPS first, first and foremost. Okay, pumpkin seeds are a hundred. Where do I get those bucks? Hmm. I don't know where. I'd, where am I going to get the? Who do I sell to? Do I sell to Jojo Mart? What do I put here? Surely just drop it like this, right? No. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's got to be a way you can sell um some of the stuff that I have. No? That's what everyone else says. Ah, oh, man. I'm getting to the point where the game's starting to confuse me. This isn't good. Okay, maybe... What's this place? This looks like a place I would buy my plants. I don't know what that is. Tickets. The town's lost and found box. Oh, take it also. Is he praying? Oh, he's gardening. Wait a minute. If I get better social, they give me money, right? No? Probably not. Okay. Because even fish. I feel like we should be able to sell fish. Who do we sell it to? Zero question. Okay. Let's see his gun to dude first. Because does he take any copper pickaxe? Could that break the... um? Oh, wait. 2000 never mind everyone is a shop why doesn't no one buy okay jojo mart maybe we gotta go jojo mart let's see if they've got any uh clarity for us okay i'm so sorry for this worker she looks so like dreary um again oh pump ah oh, it's 125 oh i don't know i just managed to give it to shane sale what do you got for sale how on earth am i supposed to get money who do i sell to what is this doctor one? Let's see what she's got. Energy tonic, okay. Oh, so I just looked at a guide on how to sell. And I just realized all this time. Now, are you ready to see what I was doing? Let me just get to the place real quick. So this whole time, right, when I first started playing the game, I thought this box here was storage. Hold on a minute, what's over here? Oh, nothing. This whole time, I thought this was storage. And then I figured out none of my loot came back. And I had some pretty good loot, right? Well, for a beginner, I think um, I think so. I had like stone and stuff. 
Um, it turns out you that's actually how you get money for it. So that means all of this stuff, they can get money. So, um, I guess we should probably keep one of each. Um, maple seeds, I don't know. You know what? Let's just get rid of a lot of this stuff, right? Um, earth rate mixer, don't need that. Probably do, but you know. Uh, hot pepper, yes, yeah, let's get rid of like hay, wheat, algae, leeks. Okay, let's put this in there. How does one? Oh, okay. Oh, let's test it out first because I don't want to lose all of that stuff and then not get anything in return, right? Okay, so I put a bunch of stuff in there. Ah, wow, wow, we got 1000. You know what? Thought this game was a lot harder than it was because i was like you get nothing at all do you okay so because we need to get 900 for emily final day yeah we're not gonna make that in time okay that's okay though at least now we know that we can sell stuff sell a hazelnut let's sell some hardwood actually hardwood will keep leaks um firebush can we sell no i don't really want to do that eggplant we can sell can we sell cave carrots I don't think so. What else can we sell? We have a bunch of fish stuff, um, which I don't know what to do. So we can put that in there. And just like that, a lot of stuff out of that. Take some fish out, buckle, oyster, coral, a bunch of other stuff. Okay, and now we just do the rest. Maybe we can sell geos like this as well. I'm kind of doing this to have, um, we got this statue from the museum from donating more. And then we also, we also managed to get a bunch of different stuff from the geodes. Now, I tried using the bomb and I tried using it on the civilians in the city. It didn't impact them. Um, was it bad to do that? Yeah, a little bit. But um, I just wanted to test if it would work. So, um, yeah, plants looking healthy. Um, yeah, we managed to get to level 40 in the mines. So basically what ended up happening was... So all this time, um, at the beginning of when I played Stardew, I thought this was a, um, a storage unit, a chest, if you will. And then what ended up happening after that was, turns out it's a, like, this is where you put all your stuff and you get money for it. Don't know where it goes, um, probably to the mayor and the mayor gives you money. So I had a bunch of stuff and, um, looked at a guide and turns out this is where you get money. Cause I was like, why have every single day on this game I farm? I don't know how to sell. Where do I get it from? But yeah, it turns out you put it in here and I end up getting 8,000, which is crazy. Um, so then I got myself a nice backpack because I just need more storage when I go mining and stuff. Um, as you can see, total earnings 10,000, which is really good. Um, and then, yeah, I decided to go break the geodes and all that stuff. Then I thought, let's actually make some progress in the game and actually build a coop. So that's where we're at right now. Um, yeah, again, we reached, we need to reach the bottom of the mine. We're at level 40 now. So I presume it's 50 or maybe even 60 or probably even 100. Um, but yeah, um, so I just want to say, I do hope this helped anyone out there who might have been struggling with sleep or whatever it may be. Um, again, it's a shame that the last half an hour got missed, but nonetheless, we still got to make a video out of it. So I'm very grateful for that. And if you didn't make it this far, I appreciate you guys for watching. And um, yeah, again, I know how hard sometimes insomnia can be. And maybe sometimes a little YouTube video can help with that. So anyway, see you guys later. Stay blessed and um, have a great rest of your day, night, or whatever it may be. See you then.